Hello, my name is Robert Vigil. Welcome to Aurora Studio, the home of LuxLanterns.com. I am Naden Mexican. I was born in a little town in Las Vegas. Um, I grew up there. I went to Santa Fe, lived there for a good part of my life, and I'm living the rest of my life here in uh, Rio Rancho, an Albuquerque area. So yeah, I've lived here all my life. I've traveled a lot, but I've lived here as well. I got started in creating this art through my two-dimensional paintings. My artistic development started when I was a little kid. Um, when I was five years old, I started drawing and paintings. And just recently, as the last five years, I've been doing this kind of work. I've always loved science and engineering, and this would have been a challenge for me to actually do the science and engineering along with the artwork. I always loved light, and to make the contrast, you have to have light and darkness. But I also wanted to see what light really was, so I brought my paintings in the three-dimensional. And so this is my three-dimensional version of my artwork. It's the luminescence of light that, that, that appeals to me uh, when I'm making these uh, light sculptures. I have to do the design in my mind and then I have to actually put it on paper and so there's a, a transition from artist to engineer and actually making it work. So the artist part of myself just envisions it. I see it in my mind, I want to see what it looks like when it is in three-dimensional real life and that's where the engineering part comes in so I have to actually design it. So it's a challenge altogether. I do all the work, but I have a very dear friend that I've made in the last five years that does my lasers. And he and I get together and do some designs on the body of my uh, of my lanterns. Uh, he does laser etching on them. He also does that on my plastic. He also does cutouts for me. And so it's kind of a challenge for both of us to get together and figure out what would look good for my lanterns. All my materials are local. I use various lumber yards from New Mexico, uh, especially in the Albuquerque Rio Ranch area. So I, I get uh, cedars, white cedar, red cedar, uh, different types of other uh, lumber I put together. Also, some of my, my materials come from uh, being out in the rural areas of New Mexico where people have uh, you know, old sheds that are falling down and ask them for the material. They'd be willing to give me as much as possible to clean up their area. Uh, and I bring it home and I make uh, lanterns out of just uh, old uh, posts, uh, 4 by 4 posts. Uh, some other material comes from a National Laboratory, believe it or not. Uh, my plastics are uh, post-World War II uh, plastics uh, that I ac ac accumulated in the past four or five years. I use that for my water features and my lanterns. I also do tile work and that stuff so I can put any kind of material together whether it's glass or plastic or tile or cement, uh, wood. I like to work with all kinds of materials and put them together see how it looks artistically and the engineering design, see how that comes together. What's next for Lux Lantern is actually uh, making something bigger and newer and more modern uh, to make big lights. I like to see casinos have my lights, for example. I like to see uh, people in industry uh, people at their homes uh, uh, have my lights. So I learned how to put Bluetooth together. And so Bluetooths with electronic, other de electronic devices, maybe uh, 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 solar panels and, and, uh, and lighting with solar panels and batteries and that kind of stuff, which makes them remote, can be put in places where you don't have electricity. So I like to see that happen. So, so at some point, not only will all of all the world have Lux Lanterns, hopefully, but they'll also have them in, in, in places like, like rural New Mexico, of all places. <laughs> I have a bumper sticker here somewhere. It says, people who discourage your dreams most likely abandon their own. My advice for people is if you have a dream, be true to it, be true to yourself. Follow that dream. Yes, you're gonna have a lot of distractions. I've had a lot of distractions in my life. I've always come back to the same thing I've always wanted. I wanted to do artwork. And so I've actually retracted myself, despite the fact that I've had a lot of distractions in going that direction. I don't know where I would have been if I was going that direction and I had, didn't have any distractions. Maybe it wouldn't have been as great because I hadn't, didn't have all these other experiences, but I've always come back to myself. So my advice is if you are true to yourself, go in that direction and continue doing that. My paintings are very were very personal, I hate to see them go, but my lanterns are for the world. I want them to be out in the world, to light the world up, 
And so they're still be connected to me, little sources of light. 